Well, hey, everybody, welcome to another edition of Force 5. I'm Ken Plume, and this is the show where I have a special guest on to discuss their five favorite Star Wars action figures from their collection, any size, any era. And for this episode, my special guest is a producer, a wrangler, a personality, a presenter, a comedian, uh, just a wonderful personality, man about town, Patrick Kotner. How are you doing? Doing good. That was a very intimidating intro. I know. I've built you up so high. I know. I'm, I'm only going to disappoint. No, you're going to stay on that perch for the entire show. Okay. All right. You can't come down. Let us, let us know in the comments. Yes, let us know if he stayed up on that perch for the entire uh -huh. show. Watch him on this perch. Uh -huh. See what happens. Uh -huh. I start uh -huh. low. You get to stay yeah. high. That's the yeah. way I like to treat it when I have a guest on. That's good. That's uh, good. So if people don't know uh one of the uh main places that they should know you from is the incredible work you've done with the george lucas talk show and mm -hmm. uh, playing a, an incredible support role in propping yes. up the declining years of a famous director as they try and find uh like a a, a second act yeah to, to sort of uh, live their twilight years in a, in a way to connect with a public they may have distanced themselves from over mm -hmm. the years, mm -hmm. uh, along with one of their uh, finest creations mm -hmm. and one of the high water marks of their creative career. Uh, just high water around. marks. High water marks. <laughs> Please tell me that you have high water marks t shirts. I don't, but I absolutely should. That's a great one. <laughs> That's a great one. <laughs> yeah, no, I I produced and I'm I don't know a co-host I guess you could say on uh, the show called the George Lucas Talk Show with Connor Ratliff and Griffin Newman. Connor plays George and we just talk to a bunch of uh, famous people and it's very stupid and it's very silly and I feel like if you like this show it's not that far off, you know? Yeah, no, it it is an enjoyable if if people like comedy and like mm -hmm. sublime character comedy mm -hmm. and incredibly awkward moments uh <laughs> related to that comedy mm -hmm. it, it is a show that is worth checking out and it's a show that you know you you, you talked about a little bit uncertainty about how you would describe your role with it your role yeah. was sort of redefined by the pandemic true it seems yeah yeah i was uh i was just producing it and booking it uh totally off stage when we were uh just the stage show over at ucb in new york and then the pandemic happened and we turned it into a, a twitch show live stream thing and um sort of out of necessity i just became like an on camera personality with it uh sort of filling the i always tell people the michael gelman role the producer from regis and kathy lee regis and kelly um just with, the guy who's the there amount the, of scooter from the muppet show sure yes 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 the guy that they can yell at when things are uh going a little off the rails um that's been my role so it's uh it's a lot of fun it's very silly and it was definitely the thing that kept me sane in uh 2020 and 2021 kept you sane and shaved it's true it's, yes <laughs> yes i have never I, seen I, someone I sh shave their head as often as you did during the pandemic yeah. for the show yeah, shaved my head probably five or six times. I feel like I I got to a point where I was like, maybe I just keep it like this forever. But I have so much hair that it's like such a pain to maintain. To, uh, uh, to maintain. Um, what a so good burden to have. It is a good burden, but it's also a good burden to know that when I do inevitably lose it, I'll be fine. You know well, what I mean? Now, you know, you've, you've now determined yeah. what the shape of your head is. Absolutely. And it's fine. There's no it's surprises. Not, it's not perfect. Now. No, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> you yeah, reached so an equanimity I, with what future awaits you. Yes, 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 yes. And that's, uh, I mean, what more can you ask for, you know? Yeah, not, uh, many of us are not as courageous as you yeah. in in no, daring to yes. see before our time. Thank you. That is the, that's the pull quote. That's the pull quote from this episode. <laughs> not many of us are as courageous as you. Can put it put on it. another shirt. We're going to have uh -huh. an entire shop filled up with shirts from this episode uh -huh. by the time we're done. Uh, yeah. but, and also something that was important about the show during that period, that it more from being a comedy show done live in front mm -hmm. of an audience to a streaming show that had a huge philanthropic move. You raised mm -hmm. so much money through the show for great causes over the course of the pandemic. 
Yeah, we raised, uh, I mean, I don't know if I've ever put it this way, but we've raised over a quarter of a million dollars, which is a lot of money. That's yeah, a lot that's, of money. That's not insignificant. For, no, for a silly show that um, not, not, I'm not saying there's a lot of people that watch it now, but for those first couple months, there was absolutely not a lot of people watching when we were doing the majority of the fundraising. So to do that uh, with not a huge audience um, was very nice and very impressive and very uh, heartwarming to see, you know, people coming out and donating every week, every month, whenever we did fundraisers. Um, a show that was a shaggy dog personality yeah. driven show yeah. that everyone and, just sort of came out to have fun with yeah. at a weird time and none for of us, all of us. And none of us got flagged by the IRS. So and, we're all fine. And, and now we got to this point and there it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, we did it. We did it. And it all, it all went smoothly. Um, but yeah, no, it was a very, it was a very fun, very fun, nice thing. That yeah. We, it, it was, you know, it was enjoyable as an audience member. That's good. That's uh, always to, uh, good to, to see. And just to see you all sort of morph into that role. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, and it was people not just go and mentally break down episode uh -huh. after uh -huh. episode on camera. Yeah. yeah, well, that's why we don't do it every week anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why the show has become less less frequent. And Are you more saying sporadic. that Griffin has, has removed Taco Bell hey. from, from DoorDash? No, I, I cannot speak for Griffin. I can only <laughs> speak for myself. But if it was up to me, I'd be doing this show every week still. You know, that's how uh, <laughs> I, I feel like I have lost a little piece of sanity by not doing that show as often. It was an, it was uh, an anchor point for, it seemed, you all and for the audience. Yeah, it was great. It was nice to have that as like a calendar to be like, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. You know, every week, uh, just knowing what day it was, was a uh, a true blessing on those days where every single day felt the same and, and, and you did build an audience that came to true. expect that and relied on that regularity just as much as you did that is true that is true yeah it was uh it was very you just weird. Toss them all the way you just scatter them before winds yeah you know uh yeah after, after the after the hurricane episode <laughs> uh-huh but no uh -huh. one forget the hurricane episode ever is that still no. archived somewhere because the hurricane episode was the one where i thought you all were oh gonna die. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I You said that, and I was like, that's a funny joke. We had a hurricane episode, and then I was like, oh, no, we really did have one that was insane. Uh, yeah, that was, uh, who was that? That was Paula Tompkins. And I went out and uh, tried to fly a kite in a tropical storm hurricane. I don't think it was, it was bad. It was a very bad storm. It was storm. not something you go out and fly a kite in in no. Manhattan. No, and it wasn't even, yeah, it was, it was on the streets of Manhattan. <laughs> and it wasn't even for charity. You know, that's the other no, thing. No, this was just that's you celebrating being back in the empty offices. Yeah. We had not it's done like a you show. Went, it's like you went mad being together yeah. in the same space. Well, we hadn't done a show in like five months, I think, for that one. So that was like the grand return. And I think I had all that pent up energy and just had to put it somewhere, you know? Well, you had pent up energy and they they, they sort of knew how to play you. Like that's they. True. That's true. And they did yeah, leverage that's... the ability to go go out and do that uh -huh. in that scooter-esque uh -huh. fashion. Yes, and I did it, and I only complained a little bit. A little bit of Miles from Murphy Brown in there too. Yes. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> none of these. None of these are bad. You know. No, all competent um, producers, but all very yes. enthusiastic and eager to deal with yes. outsized personalities and frazzled. I think that's also a very uh, important part of it is you got to be a little justifiably so. Justifiably yes, yes. frazzled. I think so. You <laughs> think so. You did not come in frazzled. No, no. They really broke me. The process as much of frazzling. As the yeah. As much as the pandemic broke me, they broke me almost equally as much. <laughs> <laughs> Which era do you prefer of the show? Meaning pre-pandemic or post, yeah, or or, or yeah, like, pandemic uh, or like now? becoming an active participant or just being able to book it, yeah, and, no, and I mean, let it happen. No, I mean at this point, I'm very happy that I'm uh, a part of it. I think the the sweet spot was that uh, like August 2020 through you know March 2021. I think that was like the the highlight of all the stuff that was. Um, you know, uh, after we sort of figured out how to do it 
and uh really we're just like in a group those were those were some of the favorite ones i think and you were um, still all pretty good about coming to an end time that wasn't just let's keep going let's keep going yeah let's keep going yeah well that was always the that was i mean for people who have not seen the show uh it went on a very long time <laughs> uh, usually our shortest shows were like four hours so it was uh it was uh, a lot of people tell us they either play it while they sleep to fall asleep or they played in the background while they work and that is probably the best way to do it just because you can check in like 20 minutes later and be like what the fuck is going on soothing. how did they get to this how did they get to this point you know how <laughs> how did this happen uh so that's and then it becomes a mystery uh, for them to that's solve a point of pride yeah yeah it's a point of pride i like it listen it, it was a marathon every session yes and it was yes. looking to see who would fall first <laughs> uh-huh. and there were and many it times usually... where it looked like connor just shut off and yeah then, and, and all. And that was when Watto and Patrick had to step up and be like, all right, I guess the next two hours are us. I guess this is it. And boy, and would Watto better... step up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It yeah. Watto was time uh... to shine with his one-man show. It... Absolutely. It was definitely a uh... – those points were fun because, uh, you know, Connor would definitely shut down at certain points, especially when he was at his parents' house in Missouri. He would be on the porch, and it would be, like, freezing cold. And he would just, like – get a blanket i think it was the muppets tonight one there's like two hours where he's just like in a blanket shivering <laughs> because he's outside and yeah, we're he's like going oh, full you're just... shining and you're just you're just yeah. ignoring the fact this man is yeah, slowly yeah, dying well, on a porch in the yeah. midwest but if listen if he's not going to contribute we gotta fair we enough gotta make i mean sure that that is that is the very definition of not yes ending right and it was his choice to stay outside you know he could easily have gone inside this was on him <laughs> And uh, no one wants to improvise in front of their parents. Come on. That's a great, that's a great point. That's yeah. a great point. That's we'd we'd have to make thing. them into characters. Yeah. They would have to be like George's hired help or something at the ranch because yeah. we were saying he was at the ranch. It and would Butler. have been a whole thing. Yeah. 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 I don't know. Uh, well, maybe we'll send him back to Missouri and we can try it again. We'll see how it goes. Oh, I'm sure he would be very receptive to that. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. When are you doing the whole bus tour of the country? When is that happening? When are you all just hopping in the the George Lucas talk show van? I wish. We've been uh, been doing a lot of touring shows lately. We did uh, Philly, Atlanta, Detroit, a couple New York shows. We have Sketchfest coming up in January. Um, A few other ones that I can't remember for some reason. But, uh, oh, we did some LA shows. Um, I, I, I would love to do it. Listen, we have... Come on, the There's time is right for George Lucas's America. I hey, I agree. There's a documentary <laughs> that's being made about the show that's been in production since like 2018. It was oh, like so, pre-pandemic. So much like the show. Yes, yes. <laughs> and uh they're um gonna start doing the festival circuit next year. So the plan is if it does festivals, that we would go around to different cities where it was playing at the festivals and do shows then so hopefully that would be like the bus tour but who knows how long does who that knows last? how long does the bus tour last the great do you three even, stops do you, two, even two stops? Get, do you even get down the turnpike do you even yeah, reach it, non-turnpike i imagine we would book 15 stops by stop four it's just me you know <laughs> and i'm like you mean just you left at one of the jersey turnpike rest areas yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, at the at the Bruce Springsteen Hold, rest holding stop. your Popeyes and going, wait, what? <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess I'll do the show here <laughs> for all the people in the Sabaros. I can go uh, remote. Food court. I can do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy! They said they were going to nope. pump the gas, and then I remembered we were in Jersey, and that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we're all learning tonight is you can't trust them. You can't trust them. No, you no, know we can never trust an improviser, right? Because you never know no. where they're going to go. It's true, it's but true. you know they're going to go somewhere. And listen, I'm not an improviser, so that's why people can trust me, and I want people to remember that. Yeah, also that's important. That should, be, that should be a T-shirt. It should be a T-shirt. Trust it me, should be on my gravestone. I don't improvise. I... <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> that's not a bad gravestone. It's not bad. <laughs> he died by shutting it all down. Uh-huh. end scene uh-huh. yep <laughs> yep blackout blackout so tell me a little bit about sort of your collecting journey like what is the first 
franchise or toys that really struck your fancy as a kid that you first sort of like, oh, this is something I want. Yeah. So I, um, I mean, this is going to age me, but I got a lot of the Power of the Force figures when I was five. So it would have been 97, right? 96, 97 is when those came out. So I, I would have been that four aged or five. That significantly aged me, but go on. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> it's putting me at a at a age that some people may not like. Um, <laughs> those were the first ones I really remember having. I, I I was trying to think today what I got before that, and it was a lot of like you know Thomas the Tank Engine and stuff, things like that. But like Star Wars was like the first one where it was like, oh, I have a lot of these toys. I you have a lot been a of Barney action kid, figures, right? You were the Barney era? Yeah, yeah, but it didn't really have Barney toys. I had a Barney chair. That was like the one piece of Barney merch that I had. Um, it was like a little chair that I'd sit in front of the TV in. Um, I'm trying to remember what other toys I had as a kid. Legos. Legos would have been the big thing because Legos, the North American Lego headquarters was my hometown. Oh, geez. So we had a yeah. So we had a lot of. Uh, Do they have like an outlet you know, store? Do they have a? Well, everyone in the town worked there. So like a lot of uh, <laughs> family and like friends, parents worked there. So, so there was a lot of get... gifting of Lego to all the children in town. So much Lego toys. Everything would be like 65, 70% off because at that point, Legos were not going for $800, $900, well, they, whatever. There they weren't were like... a lot of, there wasn't any licensing really. At no, that point. It was all no. just. So it was like, it was pirates creative. and cowboys and yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Thunder, the, the Indiana Jones knockoff and all or those Or here's stuff. just a tub of Legos for sure to make something yes so we my whole basement is like full of legos and i still have some here now but i just don't have as much space to you know uh build them all up but that was like the big thing for us just because like i had an aunt who was there and then like my best friend's mom worked there so like anytime it was a birthday or christmas like those were the big gifts that came right you should go Um, with them now let's make like an end table or something that'd be great that would be great. I mean, a bookshelf. Yeah, use them. Love use them. it. Use yeah. them to make practical yeah, yeah, things yeah, yeah. you need around the house. It was very fun. I, I was at New York Comic Con a few weeks ago, and or I, a few weeks ago what was it last week, week and a half ago, and uh, I saw a set that was in my basement. It's like currently in my basement, built on a shelf, and I saw it new in box, and I took a picture and sent it to my parents because it was going for nine hundred dollars. And my parents were like, oh, great. So we can sell this. And I was like, no, it's not in the box. And it's like you, built. So it's worth. You should have known as soon as you sent the photo, that would have been the first response. Oh, 100%. 100%. But then I was like, it, it's not sealed. It's not perfect. It's not mint. So it's, it's not going to go for that. It doesn't matter. Now it's still, yeah. they're always going to be asking you about it. They don't know. It's you true. can't, you paint, you can't put qualifiers on it after the fact. It's a great point. Now yeah. it's just, I mean, listen, what do you mean? Yeah, t- times are hard. You can sell the Lego and you'll be, you'll be fine. Well, listen, I mean, here's the thing. I, I'm, I'm preparing a big move and my parents are taking that as an excuse to uh, force me to clean out, you know, the my room in the basement of, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Traces of you. So the reason I, uh, we were able to do this show was because I was like, all right, bring me all the action figures. I'll take them all with me. So those all came, all the Star Wars ones came, all of my Muppet Palisades ones came, which are like a lot. So I have all of those with me now. Um, We'll have to do that as a separate show since I have, I think, nearly all of the Muppet Palisades. I have almost all of the ones that I want. Like there's a couple of the variants and stuff that I don't really care about. You don't have seven different versions of lips? I don't know why Palisades (laughs) went under. I can't imagine why. (laughs) I have one lips. I have one lips. (laughs) <laughs> um, the only one I don't have is the Henson, the Jim Henson one that I really want. There's like, I don't have a regular Kermit and a regular piggy, but I have like the pigs in space one and like the reporter Kermit and the Indiana Jones Kermit. So I'm like, I don't feel like I need those. Um, you say that but those, you'll come around to I know. feeling otherwise. I'm, I'm well aware they are you eBay the alerts. Full pigs in space bridge set. I've got it. Awesome. I've got it. It's great. Isn't it? At, and do you know, I think it's the Pigs in Space Bridge set. Do you know who was on the special thanks on the back of that box? I mean, who? A young man named Griffin Newman. What was? Why is Griffin on the back of that? Griffin was in some like toy forum when he was like 13 years old. 
oh, and would yeah, like I send remember, yes i remember that toy the, forum. whatever that forum was that the what's his name ken lily the palisades yes. guy was in and griffin would like send notes and suggestions as like a child to them being like this is what you should do and they took him very seriously and they put him as a special thanks and i think it's on the pigs in space box did i ever tell you that i'm a fundamental reason why that the kermit the frog photo replica exists no i did oh, not know that the master replica why those all came wow. to be wow wow that's why i have I... that kermit that's right there that is I... a prototype that's cool of that that's cool it was done and the gonzo do you see the gonzo it's sort of hiding behind Oh yeah, I see his eye. Yeah. I see his eye. I never got into the master replica ones just because they were too expensive when they came out. For me, <laughs> for me, they were. Uh, you know, I was a I was a child, so I could not afford them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, the Palisades were huge. Uh, they took up a lot of my bedroom, just like book bookshelves and stuff. I've recently gotten into NECA. Um, well, I'm trying to think of the other ones that I've recently gotten. I just got the 2001 Super 7 ones. Um, I, I'm spending too much money on action figures now. That's the point I'm at so right now. Then, I'm, like, I'm just presuming you're an opener. I'm oh, mostly okay. an opener. I am mostly an opener. Yeah, there's like a few. There, there's I, I bought a scooter and a Fozzie, like the naked Fozzie Palisades recently because I never had them and I always wanted them. And I have not opened them, and I truly think it's because I know once I open them, that's it. You know, yes, that's the end I'm of the like, road. That's the end of the road. I'm I'm not really going to get any other ones to open. Uh, so it's a uh, it kind of it makes me sad. And I think that's the only reason why I haven't opened them yet. Um, you shouldn't I'm say sure this I will. because at some point now, yeah. Connor and Griffin are going to make you open one of those. That's true. On a show. But that means that means they have to get this far into the show, and I, I know they're. Oh, they haven't fans. even. They wouldn't even have started the show. No, no, no. Uh, there's no. zero so interest know. there. Yeah, and also I'm moving across the country, so like, come get me, guys. You know what I mean? Like, come. come That'll find be me. the road trip. Is the two of them coming to get <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah. To bring yeah. you back into the fold, kicking and screaming. Yeah. Where you're deprogrammed. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm also I'm I'm an opener because I mean especially now in New York I just don't have space to keep stuff in the boxes you know it's like I I just don't have um, room for it. There's a couple ones that I've gotten recently uh, that I just haven't opened just because I like the look of them. I'm looking at one of them right now off screen so you can't see it. Uh, <laughs> just aesthetically, uh, you you like the packaging and I like the packaging. I mean, it's just you know the power of the force ones are very silly and we can talk about that when we get to them um but if we get to them i don't know what's in there we're gonna find out maybe we won't maybe we won't uh did you did you treat your toys well as a child have they pretty much uh yeah for the most part um i wasn't i wasn't a gun kid so a lot of the action figures that came with accessories or guns or whatever i sort of just like i don't know i don't really need those so um keep track of them past that so i didn't really keep track of them i don't know which ones go with which i'm not 100 percent where a lot of them are um but they're not like a lot of the toys are not broken you know what i mean like right. they're they're all fairly you weren't bashing uh, them together uh, or burning them or, no you know. no and like especially you know the palisades ones were coming out when i was 12 you know like i, I think it was like 2004 somewhere around there so I, so I that was your point, older. you're a mature collector. You're I was I was yeah, I was an adult. <laughs> I was an adult. And they were on a shelf and I was not, you know, uh, you know, uh, I was not making They're not a play item. item. They're an appreciation no. item. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and that's what I kept telling my parents. And they're like, "All right, well, when are you going to sell them?" And it's it's not going to happen, I think at this point. Um no, they're going to yeah. tell you about the Lego set instead. Of course. Of course, and they should. I get it. I get yeah. it. No, you, you put but, a context on it. You shouldn't have. Yeah, yeah that's true. Until that's that, true. it was just that crap we got to get out of his room. Uh huh. Why are uh-huh. these still on shelves 20 years later? Pretty, listen, I got a lot of it out of there. Pretty much the only stuff that's left are some Legos. And it's just purely because I have too much other junk that I don't have space for, uh, you know, 40 boxes of Legos to, to make the move with me. But we'll see someday. Well, it's gonna be they're gonna Someday. be further away when you're done moving. So, I know, I know. You're gonna grab them. But Now's the I, time to grab them. Yeah, I can't. I get can't a, do get it. A, get like a convoy going. 
you get to get some rope some friends in for a cross country trip. Listen, if you could see the amount of boxes I already have packed and I'm not done yet, it would uh, <laughs> it would disgust you. It would disgust you. It would make you sad. So maybe you uh, need to make boxes out of Legos. A great, a great option. A great option. They're not strong enough. That's the problem. Like if you put any, I, I couldn't make a box that would hold a bunch of books. And that's my main thing is just like <laughs> very heavy coffee table books that uh, uh, are breaking all of the bookshelves that I currently have. But, and mm. this is, this is a problem we're going to solve tonight. So we're not, yeah. gonna, you could build into the boxes that are ha- going to have your books, a lining okay. of Legos. Sure. So, so it's that way they're double... not load bearing. The box is still the load point. bearing, but they're lined with the Legos. It's the lined. Yeah, that's a good point. And then you it starts stuffing cushions and sure, but cushions made of Legos. Yes. Yeah. 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 You got to use the out, Legos. Put the yeah. Legos in. That way, it's the same I space do... that's being taken up, but you're getting the Legos out. All I'm saying is that your parents are gonna sell those Legos the moment you move for far enough away. I know. I just remembered that at one point I made them, I, I asked them to order a bunch of white Legos because I wanted to build the White House. So they ordered a lot of white Legos and then I never built the White House. And it was not like I didn't have the, I didn't have the artistic eye to do that. Like it would just been like, here's a square, here's a square, here's some pillars. Oh, look, it's the White House. Like it was, it would not have been that good. But I just thought about how I have like an inordinate amount of white Lego bricks compared to the other ones. The is, things, is this a story the, they would remember as well? I don't know. Should we call them? I don't know. I mean, I think you need to text them. Text them and see if they reply. All right, I will text them. Okay. Before we're done recording. All right, here we go. I'll do it right now. <laughs> um, do you remember when I made you order a bunch of white legos so i could but here's the thing if i text them they're gonna be like yeah and we want to get rid of them you know oh no you can't you can't you gotta say do you remember when i asked you to order what white, white legos do you remember what i wanted to build with them you gotta see oh, okay. if they remember okay. what you okay okay what also then write vital need to know asap okay much i'll love. start with that Vital. Ken says need, hi. Need answer ASAP. Can I end it with peace and love? Yes. Okay. Which is, it's ironic that you said that just now, because I swear with your AirPods in and yeah. the beard you're rocking now, you very much have a Ringo Starr look. Thank you so much. <laughs> and And listen, here's the other thing. You will sign autographs uh, or you won't? I, I was going to say I won't. I won't. I won't do it. Do, it. do not send. They will be trashed. You think he still October sticks by the, that? That's a good question. We're also, I think, is it October the 12th? I think that's the date. That the anniversary says, date of the, the peace I think and love. So. So, that, so that would have been last, that would have been last week. Almost what? It's got to be at least 15 years ago no it would have been it was the end of the the 2000s wasn't that... it please there's no, got to be a I wikipedia was... entry for the great peace hang out on, right the peace great ringo peace out love. i'm gonna guess 2012 well all right now this one went up in 2008 so maybe you're right oh so maybe this is but price is right and rules we're both wrong sure sure yeah Wow, that's yeah, that's it's older been than quite I a while. And we had we didn't, and so we would have been fifteen. No, it would be fifteen years next year. You need to mark that. Yeah, and and do you know what he got for the anniversary this year for his fourteenth anniversary of this? He got COVID again. What? He just got it for a second. He just got it for a second time in a month. <sighs> Which of the all stars? Which of the all stars got Ringo sick? I think it was the Dreamweaver guy. I think it was Gary Wright. Is that you think his it was name? Gary Wright? You don't think it was Colin or Hay? Was G- I think, I think it might have been Gary Colin Wright. Hay. I mean, he would have been flying international to come in. That's that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> I I saw them. I saw them in concert around then. I saw them in I think two thousand seven, maybe. Who was maybe the line? Was Do you remember later, anyone maybe? from the lineup? 
it was it was Colin Hay, it was Gary Wright, it was um the Sheila was He Billy Billy Squire. Is that his name? Yes. He sings the stroke. Yes. Uh it was Ringo. It was those are the only ones I remember, I think. Was Billy Preston don't... still alive then? He was still alive, but I don't think he was there. I think oh. I would have remembered. I would have remembered that. I don't remember any women. <laughs> <laughs> which i don't think there were any i think it was well, a who's on the men. shirt who's on the toy shirt that's sitting in the other it's room great, right now it's, it's somewhere it's in my closet somewhere are you a toy Ugh. shirt buyer not really i'm not i just got a text from my mother well what does it say white house <laughs> is that is david letterman on your Yeah, it's David. It's the jogging photo of David Letterman. It has been my background since that photo Is came out. Is it sad that I just saw Ball State and a hint of beard <laughs> and you know. knew that David what Letterman was be? on your lock screen? What else could it be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's been my picture for probably six years now at this point. Now I want to start a web series that's just show us your lock screen where it's we a, find out honestly, who's on people's lock screens. It's a very good web series. Are you with me? With you with me on this? This is a TikTok. Also account, Also feels right? like I was just gonna say it's a TikTok account. I think that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start the TikTok trend. Hashtag lock yeah. screen. Show hashtag. What's what would be the show? S U Y L S S U Y L S. Show us your lock screen. That's the hashtag. Yeah. Or how about stop yeah. and lock? Stop okay. and show us your lock. Stop. Yeah, stop yeah. Lock, parentheses. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's stop and parentheses show us your lock. And parentheses yeah. lock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All that's in a hashtag, right? We can parent parentheses uh -huh. in a hashtag, uh -huh. right? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which I think is a great time to get to your number five choice on your list. Was it difficult for you yeah. to rank these? It was impossible. Now are these these are ranked. We are saying these are ranked. These are ranked. So we're going from from five being your least favorite of the five you've chosen. To number one being your most. So okay. you're going to have to make judgment calls right now on, I'm presuming now the fly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Knowing that you're going to be judged. Yeah. I got it. All right. So this, uh, the first one, number five, it's a single figure, but it visually, it needs to be a duo. Okay. Okay. So number five is one I recently got. Here we go. Let's bring them up. It is, <laughs> it is the Dr. Evazon Black Series figure. Dr. Evazon, famously the man who says uh, he doesn't like you, I don't like you either, to Luke in the cantina. This is a Black Series figure. I believe it came out this year. It's got some good molding. Looks enough like him on the face. Not great. Not like perfect, but it's like pretty close. I no, wish the it's, hair it's was like a little darker. It's like if you took him into one of those aging apps. <laughs> yes. Yes. Like show I think us the Dr. Hair Amazon be... in like 10 years. I think the hair should be darker, but I do love these boys so much. I don't love the Panda Baba one as much because someone pointed out that his body is just the Luke Yavin metal ceremony body. And they just reused it and plopped on a new head. Yeah, he seems a little um, small, a little slight. He seems a little small. That's my problem with it, too. He seems a little small. So, But I do like the Amazon one. I think it's also maybe some recency bias is why I like him. Uh, I've, I've just started getting some of the Black Series, like the newer Black Series ones. Um, so I have these two and I have the Jar Jar. And I do really like the Jar Jar one. Uh, but well, the Jar Jar's I, fantastic. I, Charger one's really good. And he comes with a karaoke mic. He does. Yes. <laughs> yes, he does. He does. Well, there's star but microphones. I like, I like this boy. I think I, he's a good boy. I mean, he looks so happy to be in your collection. Yeah. Uh-huh. A hundred percent. And they're standing next to each other on the on the uh shelf, and you know, they're just they're happy to be together. So that's good. So that's number so, five. So was so was I Black got, Series something you avoided getting for a while? Like what was the one that finally made you get a Black Series? Uh, well, I bought a Panda Baba, the first Black Series one, the like smaller one, 
and I didn't really like it. I'm sort of out of the what is it three seven five? Is that the three, yeah the, three three quarter? Yeah, yeah, sort of uh, gotten out of that game. They're a little too small for me. Um, so unless they're like the 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 you know power of the force or before, those are kind of the only ones that I would like of that size. Um, but then I guess it was this guy. I guess it was Amazon. I was at celebration, and he had just come out, and I uh, got excited. Your eyes lit 15- up. I spent fifteen dollars more than I would have spent anywhere else buying him. Uh, just <laughs> yes, getting you could him have looked booth. on an app on your phone. Absolutely, absolutely, and I would not have had to carry him in the suitcase. I would not have had yeah, to. Yeah, it was anything. Amazon. You probably could have gotten same day delivery in Anaheim. Absolutely, it could have. Yeah, it could have shown up <laughs> at my Airbnb. Uh, and then I bought Panda because I said, "Well, uh, you you gotta if you got Amazon, you gotta have both of them." And then Jar Jar, there was a Amazon sale or something like that and he was like eleven dollars and i was like well i'm not gonna you gotta get him for that because he's 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 a. Uh, it's so good it's a really good one and now i'm sort of regretting not putting him in my five but <laughs> well he's he can, be in your, he can be in your honorable mentions you do get honorable sure. mentions okay 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 all right so that's can, good so if it, you're not gonna hurt his feelings he can be part all of right. the, the conversation okay great all right well then no spoilers but we'll see I mean, you know, and it's, uh, you know, speaking of there's, there's a black series Jar Jar, but there isn't a black series Watto. I've thought about this so much. I've thought about this so much. There's so many black series that have not happened that I'm like shocked. Like there's not a, like a Mon Mothma one. There's one coming out. The for, fact that there has Andor. only ever been two Mon Mothma figures in the entire so weird in the entire 40 yeah. plus years, almost 50 years of Star Wars yeah. figures. There's only been two. And the first you one would... wasn't until 97. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then we got one for Revenge of the Sith that was a deleted scene. Like she, yeah. he's not even in the movie proper. There's there's a lot. Uh, the Black Series ones, I want them to go a little deeper on. Uh, and it's so fascinating how they insist on making like nine Landos, but they won't make, you know. Uh, a Watto, for example, or something like that. I understand why. But you know, it's a, a, it's, a, it's, a, it. it's a human body. It's not a completely. I mean, you can't reuse Watto. How many sure. how many different Wattos can you get out of that Watto mold? A great point. Yeah, you know, yeah. you get what you okay. get. You get regu- You get Phantom Watto, and you get Rundown Watto from yeah. Attack of the Clones. Yeah, yeah, your yeah. only two options. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. No one's wanting uh, the Toy Darians from the Clone Wars series. No one's asking for the one with the little crown. No one's asking. <laughs> <laughs> no one but me. Yeah, no one but, no me. One but you. Uh, there's a they they feel like they've neglected a lot of prequel characters with them. Um, I also want more Cantina Black Series guys, and there's not really a ton of them. I don't know if there are really any no, we've beyond never gotten, these two. I think the issue comes down to again, it's all aliens. Yeah, yeah. You're not gonna get like a Muftak or. But those are the ones I want. Oh, uh, Moba Nadon. No, but I don't need, you know, there's so many humans that I'm like, I don't care about. If I'm buying, but they couldn't figure, even give Panda Baba a unique body. I know, I know, and that's a very human body. Give him like Han's body, like give him something yeah. that's a little bit. Have you tried st- yeah. putting his head on like a Han Solo figure to see? I haven't, I if haven't the, tried. If the proportions look a little bit better to you, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a customizer. You know, it's literally just popping a head off. Scares me. It on it the scares other me. It, there's no it customization at all. It scares me. But then, but then you pop him on the other body. He doesn't have his little orange jacket. I mean, that's true. I mean, then you're into customizing. You could paint on a little orange jacket. Now, my can I tell here, you here, my favorite? About this. Don't you want to give Panda like a cool trench coat? Well, now here's the other thing. Uh, fabric on action figures. No, no, no. Are you saying the scaling isn't quite right? Yeah, I'm saying it looks weird and looks bad. <laughs> it I looks like, like he's it. wearing like an animal print, doesn't it? Yes. That's not even like what the what the jacket looks like. No. No, the scaling uh, on the camouflage is it's like it has full scale camouflage, yeah. not scaled down. Yeah. Or it's just yeah. like lumps of so it looks like there's a spine running down his back of yeah. where the print runs. I'm I'm so Colors. much less likely to buy one if 
if I see that it has some sort of real fabric on them. So you prefer like a plastic cape over a cloth cape? Yeah. You want you want yeah. something that's like, you know, tell me how it's supposed to drape. Absolutely. Yes. Don't let I, the fabric choose. No. And especially when you get a fabric that small, it's going to choose on its own and it's not going to be the way that it should uh, fall. I feel like the emperor ones always like bunch up and like you can like barely see his face whenever it's like a real yeah, cape on him. He's shy. And maybe. Come on. He's, he's, he's embarrassed. I guess I didn't, con- I guess I didn't consider that. He, That's he, a good point. He instantly pruned. Yeah. I mean, he didn't expect that. All right. All right. He, you turn he, around. He you know what? Go into that you know thinking what? I'm going to make all of the clothes fabric. I've turned around. <laughs> I've come. I've come around on it. I want zero plastic clothes. I mean, maybe Panda Baba would look a little bit bulkier if you had some lumpy maybe. cloth. Maybe. Anyone <sighs> listening who wants to do a customized proper scale Panda Baba and send a photo to Patrick, please do. Well, or just or just wait and we'll see the end of this show. You know, maybe there's oh, maybe there's something else coming. Well, well, then why don't we go to your number four choice? Okay, number four. Number four. Oh, all right, this is a game time decision right now. <laughs> okay, number four. All right, here it is. Here it is. Number four. Peter Cushing, Grand Moff Tarkin, Power of the Force figure. I um, I don't know. Can I? If I share a picture, will it mess up everything? Uh, I think yes. I think it'll screw up the framing. Oh, can you can you load it on okay. your phone and just hold your phone up to the camera? I can. I that can. would be the easier way to do it. Hang on one second. I uh, I found a photo that I feel like encapsulates my feelings uh, towards this figure. So I got this. Easter 1998. Here is the original figure that I have. I now have two Grand Moff Tarkin Power of the Force figures. But I found a photo of me. Grand Moff Tarkin. I found a photo of me getting this figure. Okay. And I'm so freaking excited. Wow. I am. I'm the only child under 10 who has ever been this excited to see Peter Cushing. To see an old white man. Yes. In Look toy how form. Hap- yes. Have in you ever been that happy even- since? No. No, no, no. I mean, maybe when I got this second one. <laughs> maybe that was. <laughs> Have you recreated time? that photo? Here, we'll do it right now. Let me look at it right now. Hang on. <laughs> Mirror it. Like you're, you're both looking at each other as yeah. you both open them. Sure. All right. Hang on. Perfect. Perfect. Nailed it. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, I I I like that they uh are really excited that they've never made a Grand Moth Tarkin figure. Never before offered in any Kenner collection. I think it's funny that that's on there. When it's not on like uh, the hammerhead, you know, uh from the but cantina. He, but, like but it's he not was. on that figure. But he was. I guess that's true. That was a bad example. They they have uh, they okay. have done the never before offered before I get, on figures. Have after they? That. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm wrong. I I do I, think I that, that I do think though that that was one of the first never before offered. Yeah, that, that was a big thing to to have one of the primary villains. Well, it's uh, weird that they finally come out in figure form. It's so weird that they didn't do it earlier. Like it's so strange that there was only how many from that original movie was there? Thirteen. Yeah, I think they were eleven, something like that. Yeah. yeah, and and to make like Snaggletooth, but not make. And your only you know? villain characters were yeah. a stormtrooper and Darth Vader. Yeah, although they probably continue and consider the Tuscan Raider to be a villain, but Greedo, Greedo would have been a villain character. Yeah, sure, sure. But yeah, he had a complicated you, I don't... backstory that we don't fully know. So I think there's. <laughs> There's a, a whole a there's a whole better call Saul for poor Greedo that we haven't even seen yet. Uh huh. Look at him; he's right there. He's right there. Um. Oh, and it's your boy. It's your boy. Yeah. The, look at uh, it. Look at look at that claw. Look at, look at that. That's a pretty. That's a good. That's a good run of figures right there. Two guys we don't care about, and then 
three pretty good ones. Do you, do you think that the ATST driver knows that you don't care about him and that's why he's hiding? I mean, I'll tell you like this. that because he looks sad. I, he has like a sad posing to him, right? For sure. Yeah, I, I'll say this. I didn't have the ATST driver and I had most of these figures. So like he, he's literally leaning forward like he's sad, <laughs> like you've broken him. <laughs> Like that's not the posture of a guy who's got a swagger or a confidence. Uh-huh. To him. That's a guy going, I don't want to be here. I know you don't want me in this lineup. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh boy. The poor guy. Poor guy. Poor guy. Also poor Hoth rebel soldier. You know, like it is fun if you wanted to make the rebel soldier fleet and like all of your guys had to have goatees just because this guy does. Oh, they were the goat squad. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. The goat squad. You never oh, heard boy. about the hot now, goat squad? I I I missed have missed that one. That feels like I mean, listen, if they made like a band of brothers series about the about hoth. the hot the hot goat squad. I hear you. Uh, you growing out your goat. You think you're gonna make the squad? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> We got a baby oh, face over boy. here. I think he's going to make Goat Squad. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah, I had so that was a good uh, that Easter was very big for me. I remember having like a gigantic box of figures, I assume because they were like all on sale or something like that. Uh, and I just remember getting so many of them and most of them are in a box next to me right now. Uh but that Christmas, like around special edition time, I just, it was so many. It's so many figures. So what was your like favorite really... film of the time? Do you remember what was the? It was probably Return of the Jedi or New Hope. I've never been an Empire kid and I'm still not really. Right now it's it's probably New Hope, Empire, Jedi is my ranking. But uh, I love the Jabba stuff. I'm a creature boy. I love the Jabba stuff, and I broke my New Hope special edition VHS because I watched the Cantina too many times. You know, I think there's something to be said for if you were a Star Wars child. Like, you know, I was a child when the Star Wars films came out. Sure. Uh, and you were a child when they were re-released and sort of back on the scene when things Look at this. came back. Look at, I, Look did that that. I did notice yeah. that. I did notice that. Was that an eBay purchase? It was an eBay purchase. And... <laughs> It's too small for my head. <laughs> so <laughs> it is a Pepsi hat. And it's too small for my head. Uh, no, you um, still pull it off. It, it, so it adds to the scooter quality. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> is I think you get, you can have an emotional attachment as a child. With yeah. A, with a new hope and with return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. I think then you get an appreciation for Empire yeah. is a film as an adult, but you won't won't have the same emotional attachment because you can't latch on to why it's a good film as a kid. Yeah. And I can I can recognize that it's better than Jedi objectively now. Doesn't mean I enjoy watching it more than Jedi. Uh, but it's definitely more um the quality is more even all the way through, whereas I think there's parts of Jedi that there's a lot of Ewok stuff. Not that I dislike the Ewok in any way, shape, or form, because I don't. But there's a lot of Ewok stuff that I'm like, you could have trimmed this a little bit. Um, whereas Empire is like, it's pretty good the whole right. way through. There's like, no there's, not, there's not, there's not musical numbers in Empire. And, and listen, and listen, I'll say this. I am not sure I've seen the non-special edition Star Warses. So those musical <laughs> numbers are so, extremely. So Jedi Rocks is all you know. All I know, all I know. I mean, oh. I've seen, I've seen the clips, but I've never seen the whole thing. Oh, I, I you think, know, I don't even think Tony Thaxton wants to talk to you after this. <laughs> I get it. Tony, I understand your lofty neck. Sure, and I, I, I enjoy lofty neck for what it is. Uh, but the I'm same way you appreciate boy. Empire Strikes Back is the same way mm-hmm. you view. Mm-hmm. I get it. I get it. I understand. Yep. Listen, I like I like the puppetry. I I love seeing a uh, puppet size noodles. You know, give me that, sure. But at the same time, if I was watching it and it didn't have Jedi rocks in it, it would feel weird to me. It would I would be like something is missing. The same way at the end of the movie, if it doesn't have going to all the planets and the new song and everything, it, it feels like something's missing. Yeah, you need a montage. Hmm. Hmm. 
I like it. You I like wanna, it. You want to see good. all these different planets that are being teased yeah. for the films that yeah. we're going to get. Uh-huh. And they don't necessarily look good now. Like a lot of the CG on those does not hold up. And I do, I feel like this might be sacrilegious and maybe people will get mad about this. I'm not opposed to a special edition to upgrade graphics, to upgrade CGI effects. And I feel like some of those special editions, if they went back and did a pass on them now, they would look Oh, I mean, the fact very that they, good. they were bleeding edge. Yeah, stuff sure, like that Java course. scene. Although, in, admittedly, from a story point of view, that Java scene is totally redundant yes. and unnecessary of course. when the Greedo scene exists. But yes, as far as we we've seen it with the Book of Boba Fett, the huts that are in yeah. that is you could yeah. go back and do that and have it look better. But the fact that it was when they were doing the special editions, what 94, 95, they yeah. would started working it's on that. It's early. And and full animated characters that weren't just uh you know like a T two liquid yeah. chrome character yeah 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 and I wonder if that's why I liked New Hope and Jedi more at that time was because I was like well look I mean there's so much more CGI in this one in these two whereas Empire doesn't really have a lot of no. like the flashy <laughs> special edition <laughs> stuff a, yeah oh we you get a see new more Wampa. Of yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> wow, mom, look at it's that. So light the and hallways airy. are longer. Yeah. There are there are windows. Can we do the sunroom mom? like that? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's really funny. Um yeah, so I I've never thought about that before, but I wonder if that's partially why it was not as much as my thing is is I mean, it's not as flashy as the other two in general, but, but now, I should so, go back so, and watch. So then when when Empire when uh Phantom Menace came out then you were what? Nine, ten, seven, seven, seven. So you were like prime, the you perfect were, age, you were ready to accept everything about that film. And listen, that brings us to my next figure. Number three is the middle of the pack. Now, now this is again, it's a duo, but I have a preference to one of them. Okay. So this is just they have to go together, but I have a preference to one of them. This is going to be a controversial one. It's my boys, the Neimoidians. <laughs> I like them a lot. I like the Rune Hacko one a lot because I like that his arms can fold out like this, and I like that they fold into each other like that. I think the sculpts on the heads are really good. I don't like the new Gunray coloring as much, and that's why I don't like him as much. Um, I also like how many layers of clothes they have, but again, plastic clothes, so they look good they look the way they're supposed to look uh and i just i i like that they had more detail than a lot of the figures at the time like in their face and in the coloring and stuff uh it's it's hard yeah. to get an alien sculpt wrong for sure you have a lot well, more leeway yeah. and yeah. a lot more forgiveness when it comes to and you know, compared to an actor whose face we know yeah yeah and uh, luckily, at this point, they were beyond the muscle man sculpts. Episode one was now. No come on, you a... want to see some muscly Nemoidians? No, I love it. Of course, I do. Some jacked up Nemoidian coming in and for I've... those trade negotiations. I've never thought about it until now, but now I want to see it so much. So if we do a book of Boba <laughs> Fett season two, if there is not a jacked up, roided up Nemoidian, what are we doing? What yeah. are we doing? Um. But yes, no, I love the Rune Hacko. I also like that you can see his little head behind his hat because I feel like you can't really see that in the movie that much. Um, I don't know why. I Listen, and I'm not defending these characters in any way, shape, or form. I think it's cool puppetry. I think it's a good uh, character design. Uh, beyond that, uh, you know. Choices uh, were made. I'm, I'm not, not touching it. Not touching it. Uh, I think um, also, listen, when they were on set, the whole plan was to have them speak in... Nemoidian, and then they would just have subtitles and I wish he had stuck with that because I think different choices would have worked out better yes. for everybody. Choices were made. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, so between those two Yeah. You going for Rune? I'm going for Rune. I'm going for Rune. I like both of them. I like having them next to each other but it's definitely Rune for me. And I understand that this five is a weird five. I get it. No, what? What? There's no definition of a weird five. It's always going to be the five that a guest chooses. No one's I'm judging. Not a, 
No one's but I'm not apologizing. I want to be clear. I'm not and nor, apologizing. Nor, and nor should you even think of apologizing. There's nothing to apologize. Except to Jar Jar right now, knowing that you are a Phantom Menace kid and yeah. you left him off. You picked Rune Hacko. And I'm staring at him, too. Over well, Jar Jar Binks, who's staring back at you right now. Yeah. With his I sad didn't... little karaoke mic. But I didn't want the recency bias because I just got him. You know, these guys I actually have like a weird emotional attachment to, whereas the Jar Jar showed up like a month and a half ago, you know? I mean, it's it's okay. It's I don't okay. know. You made, okay. you made your choices. Yeah, I have. And I'm I'm sticking by them. And I think they're pretty good choices. They are. They're, uh, they're, they're great choices. No one's judging now here's your choices. <laughs> something, that I, something that I remembered, I was like, where are, and I named like seven of these figures. I'm like looking through this box. I'm like, Where's my, uh, you know, uh, G- Return of the Jedi Vader where you take off the helmet and it's Anakin and all that stuff. Um, and I remembered in high school, we did a, a mobile project where it was like, you're supposed to make a mobile that like balanced, you know, you weight it the correct way. So it like is all even and everything. And we did it in science class. Also, that feels like a project that. Uh, That's, that, that doesn't seem like much of a, of a science project. No, or, or a high school project should have been younger doesn't matter uh did it for science class brought it in the teacher was like this is great we're gonna hang it up they hang it up like a week later we go into school and they go hey there was a flood last night and the ceiling broke and we had to throw away all your mobiles and now now in 2022 i'm like what the fuck you know like these are plastic figures yes they There's did no... not get ruined. I know they did not get ruined. So now I'm mad about it. At the time, I was like, I, it was like post, uh, you know, Revenge of the Sith. I was not like in a huge Star Wars moment at the time. So I think I was just like, oh, all right. Well, that stinks. I guess I'm, I'm out 15 figures. But now I'm like, I want my Emperor Palpatine. You know? Who is, who is your teacher? Who, is your teacher still uh, teaching? I believe, who would that have been? That would have been, oh, God, what was his name? It was Mr. D, but I don't remember what the D stood for. He probably is still teaching. It would have been my physics class, I believe. A d- douchebag, sounds like. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Who, who douchebag. Walked, I think it might have been... walked off with your Star Wars yeah. figures. Not happy about it. Not happy. So, about how it. many figures were on that mobile? It was probably like ten to twelve, probably. Well, now you need to reclaim all of those figures. I know. You... So now know. you know what's missing from your collection, right? I can probably go through and figure out which ones they were. Do you but remember I remember, who, do you remember them being who balanced too. I don't. I'd have to go back and try those again. I remember them being the cool ones though, because I was like, "Well, listen, I'm going to show off. These are my favorite ones." So a lot of a lot of the like good ones. I Is there like any ones gone. that would have made the list if you still had? Mm. Them? I, I really liked the Vader where you took off the helmet and it was uh, uh, Sebastian Shaw and like his hand wasn't there and stuff. You know, you could pull all those. Um, I really like that one. I wasn't huge on the Palpatine, but it was like nice to have him. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember who else would have been there. Maybe Greedo would have been good. Uh, I I bet I have a picture somewhere of it. I could probably go back and figure out. We're just going to ask that teacher. I'll never speak to him again. Go, go look on the web. It's later tonight. Go look on the website of your school. See if that teacher's uh-huh. still teaching. And just go, you know what? Come clean. Now you're saying, come clean. Just, you know what? Just yeah. Your conscience. Yeah. Do do you have them? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I now we're be, talking. I bet they're in just... his, was there like a little uh, teacher's prep room off to the side? Oh, of there I'm that sure. Yeah, I'm sure there was. Do you think they I'm were in sure his desk because he told you, oh, yeah, there was a flood and they're gone? Your mobile yeah. stuffed in his bag. Yeah. That's, uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> How I don't know when this happened. This would have been high school. So it would have probably so you, been like 16. I mean, you were old enough also to have known that maybe Absolutely. plastic figures should have, should yes. have not been destroyed. And I remember, I remember kind of making us think about it. Like, I do remember making a slight stink. Like, you're, uh, you're a little but, old for them to be getting away from. I was in preschool when my yes. uh, preschool, uh, I don't mean, what do you call it? It's not a preschool teacher. Uh, minder? Watcher? Sure. Uh, sure. uh, took my Gilligan toy from my Gilligan's no, Island no, playset no. 
because I no, didn't no, want to no. nap during nap time. And I was going to quietly play on my mat with my, cause I just wasn't tired and they took yeah. it away and never gave no, it back. No, 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 that's And they thing. also took away my Popeye pop-up book, which my mother yeah. had to go in, tried to reclaim both of those things, got the pop-up book back and the minders children had colored in it. <sighs> But my Gilligan was gone. Now, I do want to say I did go on the Internet Archive and I did (laughs) find a scan of my yearbook. Uh, His name was Mr. Coat de Cormier. I believe his first name was Jonathan. Uh, I'm fully fine doxing him. Uh, Enfield, Connecticut. Also sounds like a master French cat thief. Yes. Yes. (laughs) Now that I'm looking at this picture, I'm like, oh, he was probably like 27. And the Pink Panther. (laughs) <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. he's got he's got a uh uh david niven who was who was the actual thief in that first one was david it niven. wagner was it niven i can't yeah, remember niven who was, was the, the yeah. thief and the, the, the yeah Panther proper. he looked he, he looks he, like david niven the, he the... sounds like rich little <laughs> how That's old would you Pink say Panther now... five spoiler for everybody now in Panther hindsight, I can't believe you're yeah. quoting Panther Five. In <laughs> hindsight, looking at that teacher, how old would you have said they were then? Uh, now, now that you were also an adult, yeah, you can look at it in question. context. I probably would have said in his thirties, maybe. But now looking at him, I'm like, oh, he was for sure like maybe three years out of college. So very much could still be teaching there. Oh, a hundred percent. I I almost guarantee you he is. And also. Young enough to probably thought, oh, Star Wars figures, cool. Yeah. Did he at least get an A? Did you get an A on this project? No. Oh, on the project? I feel like they did just give us A's because they felt bad. Oh, everyone got A's? Even the ones that didn't give some of their their best figures to their teacher? Yeah. Um, His name is Justin. He is still teaching in town. I'm fully doxing him. Fully doxing him. Uh, I think he's at the other high school. Uh, so it's a Listen, real we, shame. We're not saying that he did do it. I mean, we did sort of, but we're not. This is all allegedly. Yeah. We're saying it's a, th- there are questions he could answer about what happened with this flooding situation to for where sure, figures. For sure. I'm not saying that he did do it, but I'm saying that he didn't do enough to help me a child in need a child who was in high school at that time yeah yeah could have helped though under 18 still yes, a child but should have helped should have should have been should more have mindful helped. he's a teacher that's his whole thing was he at least so did he address you personally or is this the class announcement we threw out all your stuff did he pull you aside and go also all your kick-ass figures are also gone like i know you know the I rest was, pa- was paper goods and, and I do remember markers yeah. and, and project boards, but I remember having a conversation about it. I don't remember if it was with him specifically, but I do remember having a conversation where I was kind of like, what do you mean they're gone? And it was like, what the oh, yeah, heck? yeah, what are you doing? Mr. DeGormier, what do you mean? <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, geez. I need, my... I need my Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> it was the cool Vader with the helmet. It's all gone. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll never get yeah, those no, back. I'm happy. Uh, I, I said something that brought up uh, I mean, this, this is one of those documentaries. What are those little, little like, uh, 10 for 10 sort of documentaries? Oh, sure. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man. I mean, it could be like, uh, what was it? American Vandal. Did you see American Vandal? Yeah. I mean, we, this. do you know what this actually sounds like? And not to bring it back to Connor Outliff, this does sound like a Dead Eyes for me. Like his <laughs> podcast. Why you could you should start find out track down what be... happened because there's there's a whole thing find other kids from your class who also I lost know. projects in this flood. It's really funny. It is very funny. Talk to them about what you know what was told to you. Do you remember when we lost that is really... our projects in the flood? Do you remember don't, the flood? Don't steal this. If anyone from that class is listening, don't steal this. <laughs> I'm sorry I haven't. Who's still there in custodial? Who's in the school system that would have addressed a plumbing issue? Well, now here's here's a little wrinkle in this story that might make things difficult. My high school closed. 
was it related was, to this? Is this a cover I up? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It was built on it was built on an old tobacco farmland. Right. And there was so much uh uh pesticides in the it was a super fun site that they were like, oh, we should probably just close this Chil- before children should not be here. getting sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was also the the um the land it was built on was not good dirt. So every year it would sink half an inch into the ground. So I feel like maybe it's better that these toys are in some landfill somewhere because they now have. But they're, they're we full know they're of, not. They're not in a land. You need to. You need to find out. There's. I know. There are questions. Find the documentation. I'm sure in the county offices, <laughs> if you track down, there are probably there's, there's yeah. maintenance records of what would have happened. Think, what year was this? This probably would have been 2007, 2008, maybe somewhere around there. It's still in living memory. That's how we're going to discuss yeah. it. It's still in living memory. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a great point. All right. And All it right. is, it is the 15th anniversary of the great flood of what was your high school? Of Enrico Fermi High School, <laughs> the man who built the atomic bomb. Wow. I mean, there's a lot of levels to this story that just. The the only Enrico, here's a fun story. The only Enrico Fermi high school, or I think school in the country, and it was only voted that because when the town was building a new high school, they put in the newspaper, they said, please, you have to vote on the new high school name. And there were so many, uh, we had such a large Italian population in our town that they saw Fermi and they said, well, we have to vote for that. So there was that no is- vetting. No vetting. I don't think the majority of people knew who he was. How old was um, the high school when this happened? When how this would have? Been, I think it was built in seventy three, maybe somewhere around there. So we're talking thirty three, thirty four years, somewhere around there. After the bomb's creation. After yeah yeah <laughs> yes I mean seventy three. What was it? Forty five. So like yeah twenty eight years. Twenty. Well, it was dropped. It was years? developed before it was dropped. So yeah yeah sure sure. But we didn't really know that much about it. Like yeah. I don't think they were touting it that much. Uh, but on, but on, you know, but about a solid thirty years or so. Sure. Yeah. And then thirty years later, I'm I'm there. Yeah. And the scandal. Now a scandal yes. and a mystery. The scandal that rocked the town. Maybe he's all. Maybe wow. your teacher is like you know. I also had questions, but they wouldn't let me talk to you about it. Wow. I mean, now we're hitting on something. Now we're really hitting on something. I, <laughs> I mean, listen, if I wasn't uh, so tired, I would do this, you know? You say but that, I'm just but it's going gonna, it's gonna to stick in your mind, and you're going to think about it. And the very least, uh-huh. one night, maybe when you're a little tired or you've had a little something, uh-huh. you're going to be like, I'm just going to send an email uh, to that I'm teacher gonna... and see if he replies yeah. back. It's all public. Hey, remember me? You're... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what, and do like a, a digital recreation of co- copy and pasting what of, the mobile would have looked like. Yeah, there was like a freaking. Uh, Here's the Vader that would have been here, there. Here's the that, Emperor. Yeah, yeah. Here's a photo of me at the time. <sighs> yeah, just in case you forgot, which he probably <laughs> does, because I was not a good there student. Been thousands of students that have passed. Yeah, through that class not room. a good student at all. Yeah. Oh well. But, but did any other student come in with a mobile made of Star Wars action probably figures? Probably not. Probably not. It was probably all like. I mean, that's uh, the kind of about, thing that you remember, particularly if you took them. Mine's about. But not saying math. that he did. But either way. Yeah. I mean, the real flex. There were there were a lot of elementary like, school kids that would have brought a mobile pen made of Star Wars figures, but not, not a, a lot of high school, high school kids are bringing in I their know. Star Wars figure mobiles for their science class. Now, the real flex is I go to record with him for the podcast and he pulls up on the Zoom and on his desk behind him, it just looks like your background <laughs> and it's all of my toys. And all the that, other children that... knew. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's like, oh, I kept all of the mobiles. Oh, there were many floods. <laughs> <laughs> Every year, mysteriously, there was another flood. Why do you think they were always mobiles? We always did the balancing. <laughs> I always was curious uh-huh. what they would choose. Uh-huh. <laughs> I also feel like maybe if you're if you're scared of floods, maybe don't hang things from the ceiling. Yeah. Well, did know? it say on the instruction paper like, hey, find something cool that you have to balance? I think it, was, it was like, I think it was like, get something that you're interested in. What is something that you like? 
So that was like, oh, okay, yeah, this is it. This is, and I'm sure a lot of people was just like photos of freaking Chad Michael Murray or whatever. You know what? They don't pay teachers a lot. And eBay was a thing then. So maybe this was a way to make some money on the side. Well, I hope he got his $4 off of my Emperor (laughs) Palpatine. Hey, that was a lunch. That's true. You understand that the Taco Bell for that day came out of your Star Wars mobile. Yeah. This is what I want to bed, Mary. So number two. Yeah, number two. (laughs) All right, now I'm having... Now, is this a difficult decision? Because now you do legitimately have to choose what makes it to the number one position. And I have three figures next to me. I grabbed one extra just by just to like make sure. I think this is going to be my number two because this is also sort of a recency bias thing. You ready? I am ready. And we talked about him before. And he's coming back. It's a 12 inch Panda Baba. Flexing. He's flex. Well, no, his arm is off. <laughs> you can attach his arm. So it or comes it detached off. in the packaging. Yes. Yes. As the prime got, feature they want to sell. Uh-huh. I got this uh, at, we did a small convention in Long Island, the George Lucas talk show. And they had this for under $10. And I said, well, I have to buy it. I have no choice in the matter. I also really, buy it, uh, really bought it because I like this, which is coming summer 1999, episode one. New characters, vehicles, and worlds. I just think that's such a funny way to promote a movie. Um, but again, now listen, the clothes on this guy are fine. His belt is not attached to his pants. It's like going above his pants. So that's, you know, little one strike. I I don't know. I'm not a cloth. We've talked about this. I'm not a cloth on, on figures guy. But I do like this since he's a little bit bigger. I think it looks a little bit better. Proportion-wise. Yes. Also, yes, because you're also if you're you owned able it, to do. Would you wear that jacket? Oh, 100 percent, 100 percent. My favorite thing about this jacket is he shows up again in the holiday special, uh, in the the you know B. Arthur scene. Um, but when they filmed with him, they obviously had to cut his arm off, so he. They only had one jacket. I have to assume. And they cut off the sleeve on one of the arms. So when you see him in the holiday special, he's sitting at a table with two short sleeves because they, I imagine, were like, well, we got to cut the other one to make it even. And I think that's very funny that they didn't just like give him a new jacket (laughs) or something. And he Um, hasn't left the bar since the incident happened. Yeah. And and they reattached his arm. They also, I do like that this photo they use on the back is from the holiday special. This is not from A New Hope which I, I think that's fun. I also think it's funny that the three they chose to make, collect them all, Luke Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Panda Baba. But the it's Luke Skywalker three. in his Stormtrooper disguise, right? Yes, and it comes with a Dianoga tentacle. Uh, I mean, every kid's dream, realized. Every, we love, we love it. Listen, uh, I, I got to get my arm off Panda Baba and I need a Dianoga tentacle with my Luke Skywalker. Also, it's so funny. I, I'm sad that I was too young to appreciate toys like before the internet, you know, because down here, I like that it says, Pre- please retain our address for future reference. I think that's like, who is like, oh, we need to write the Hasbro, honey. So, was who, that a so thing? What, what, what parent was cutting out the address yeah. portion? Like, well, if, this, if yeah. we ever have an issue with this toy. Uh-huh. Otherwise, His I'm going to have to call information in Rhode Island uh-huh. to try and get their phone number uh-huh. in their corporate office. Yeah. I, um, at Celebration, I love Panda Baba. He's like my favorite. He's my favorite looking character. I don't know. So he's your character. water. He's my guy. He's my guy. Has it ever been revealed on the talk show that Panda Baba is your guy? I think we've talked about it. I think we have. I don't think it's come up that much, but I, I'm pretty sure it's come up. Oh, because she um, dresses I, him in every episode, so it's kind of hard true. to stick in audience. It's true. Mind. I do. I do have a mask, though. I do have a mask. Um, have you worn it on the show? I don't know. Maybe during like some of the dance when we're dancing. Maybe. I mean, the, Halloween is coming. It's up. all. It's it's all a blur. Well, here's the crate. Okay, 
Can you vamp for two seconds while I of go get this Of course I can vamp for two seconds. I could vamp for even longer than two seconds if I needed to. Uh, but I very much, while he is away, I will reiterate to everyone that they should go check out the George Lucas talk show. Uh, all, I'm assuming all the archives are out there, uh, or if they're coming live to an area near you, check it out. Uh, hopefully, for the folks that can't see them live, we're going to get to see more remote stuff. You've heard everything I've said, so. Yeah, all of the archives are on YouTube, so people can go check them out. Okay, here's the mask. Someone mailed this to me. They did not tell me who it was coming from. It took a lot of deduction to like figure out what it was. I don't know where this mask came from. I don't know who made it. I it's know like nothing paper about mache? it. No, it's rubber. It's fully rubber. But the eyes are solid. So you, you, you can't, can't see out of them. Were, were they were they originally not solid and they just painted no. them over? It like is, were they lenses? One, are they no. lenses on the inside? No. It is one piece of rubber. So it's just a, I, like a mannequin display piece, essentially? I guess. I don't know. I love Where them. do your eyes line up inside of it? Are they near the snout? About there. About there. No, about in the eyes. I mean, look, here we go. Hang on. I mean, this is the moment we've all been waiting for for the past one minute since we found out this was a thing. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay, this is my eye right here, and this is my eye right here. It's okay, like so it does line up. It, it lines up perfectly with the center of where the yeah. mask size are. Yeah. I mean, I just kind of want to see you do an entire talk show that way. It gets so hot in there immediately because there's no <laughs> ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely no ventilation um i was at celebration and they had a probably 18 inch tall panda baba statue and i think it was for 275 and i was like okay if i wait till the end of the weekend i'll talk this guy down the box is covered in dust i'm like no one wants this toy no one is gonna buy this toy i'm like i'll get him down to like 200 225 something like that and i'll be able to do it I wait all weekend. I'm like checking in on it. I like hide it behind other boxes so other people like won't find it. <laughs> I go back Sunday afternoon and it's gone. And the guy goes, We just sold it. And I'm so mad. And I've like had it's like not really on eBay. Like it's not really available. And it's truly like it's one of my great regrets. Although and that, I did everyone is the greatest joke that Connor ever paid on you. <laughs> I did buy. I don't know if you could see him over here. Oh, but yes. It, the sideshow the, premium format Indiana Jones from Raiders. I did get him. So yeah. it, oh, it that uh, is a great Indiana Jones. The only one that surpasses it is the Temple yeah, of yeah. Doom indie that they did. I do like the Temple of Doom one too. I uh, like Temple of Doom. And that Mola Rob is also incredible that they yeah. did that scale. How tall is he? Is he that big? Oh, yeah. Oh, the Mola Rob oh, probably wow. stands another three inches above it, four inches with the head. That's crazy. Head. And he's, I saw well, this. And is all, the reason you see it so tall is he is holding the heart. Sure. Sure, sure, above. sure. So it is a yeah. massive statue. I saw this one in, uh, oh, God, what's his name? He played like Michael Rosenbaum from Smallville. Right. He, he like has a podcast and he films it and I would watch clips from it. And it's always in the background in his office. And I was like, well, if I ever see that in real life, I will buy it. And then it was a true like test of test of morals when i saw it at and celebration you did commit I was, to yourself I, I was just like well shit did you I have drive out it there now. Or did you have to ship no. it back to yourself i had to sh i had to so ship that it must back have been the... half of what you paid ken ken and i'm moving back to la like what six months later thinking? i should have i should have just left it out of friends, friends out there yeah i know i know it was not half it was it probably cost about a hundred right now to ship it. look at that and think yeah. of the space of the Legos you can't take with you because you have to carry that back with you to the place it already was. Yeah. Yeah. I will say this. I talked them down a lot of money for it. And as I was leaving, it was still far too much money. I want to be clear. I spent way too much money on it. Uh, but as I was leaving, I got approached by some, I think the only way I can describe them as toy guys, you know, these guys were like, toy guys big time toy guys and they were like how much you got it for and i told them and they were like 
whoa, that's a good deal, man. I didn't think he was going to actually go down that low. So I felt really good about myself because I the paid toy twice guys... that much for the Panda Baba. <laughs> <laughs> would I have traded? That's a great question. Would, would you, I have traded in that would moment? You have? No, because this was so much more expensive than the Panda Baba. <laughs> But did his meat did it mean as much? Does it if you look at it, and you can look it over means... at an eighteen inch Panda Baba staring back at you? Well, here's the th- the original plan was to just get both of them. That was the original idea, but then I was like, do I need, you know, because I also this? have no. the li- no, I have the life size Grogu. I think is that the one? Is that a Hot Toys behind that's you? That's the Hot Toys one. Yeah, that's the one that I actually have. The, I have that. Isn't just like a statue. Oh, oh, I have the. The sideshow have, one is basically just the a side statue. One. Yeah, I have the sideshow side show was one. the first one that came out. That was the one that was yeah. first out of the uh, yeah the market. I have that, and then I also what do I have pre order? I have the Vader from Kenobi uh, sideshow pre ordered. It looks so cool, and it was one of the, again one of those things where I saw the picture and I said, "Well, I guess I'm buying sideshows now. Like, I guess this is just part of my life. Is it, are you getting the statue? Or are you getting the Hot Toys, the six scale? I'm getting what's the one where it like comes with the changeable heads and oh, you that's, can that's see hot his toys. face through the. Oh, that's is that the Hot, hot, hot okay, Toys? Okay, well, I got a Hot yeah. Toys then. They they still, blend together so much for me. Expensive. Yes, yes, too expensive. And then also, it's like coming in fourth quarter, 2023, or something like that. Like yeah. it's so far away. That now I'm glad I'm like, well, I spent the money. So when it comes, it will just be like a fun surprise. You know, it will be yeah, like a, but free you will have th- ordered so many other things in the interim. I know that it'll all balance I out. I know what a mess. I have That's to how they get you. Off. They make you forget that you've already spent that much money when you look at something else and you go, oh yeah, I'll get that. I mean, I don't have anything yeah. else to worry about. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. I'll have a. I'll have to find a table for it, uh, and just hold on to that table for a year and a half. While Are you going to have space it. in your new place for? It's a great things? It's a great question. Who knows? We'll find out. Don't have a place yet, <laughs> so we will find out. Uh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure that will be a large consideration while looking for a place. Is how much closet space does it have? Does it have a lot of storage areas? Um. Do I have a lot of nooks? Do I have a lot of cramp? Do I have sh- yeah? Do I have that weird ledge on the staircase? Yeah, I have an just alcove? places, I, just places I can put Rubbermaid bins. Where can I just I... cut into the drywall and just set stuff on studs? <laughs> mm-hmm. Will they notice? <laughs> I've painted. Yeah. It looks fine. That's true. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. If it just I'll looks like that. open I'll studs. Them... Then it, you know, yeah. then it doesn't. I'll tell them you said that. Yeah. Do it like you know, the um, way people that have their garages unfinished so they can hang things yeah. inside the stud areas. Uh huh. But that's how you get floods. That when is, it tears well, down those things. That's then, just then... science. That's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> you ready so, for number one? I got him. I got him in my hand. Are you ready? Are you ready for number one? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready to bring him up. You ready for this? Power of the this Force. My Rancor. This is my guy. He's my Your guy. Original. It's the original. Um, he came with a little Luke uh, and a little bone. Luke came with a little bone. Um, I really liked all of these because it came. There was a Bantha. There was a Dewback. There was a Tauntaun. A Ronto. A Ronto. I have the Ronto too. And was Jabba part of that? Jabba might have been part of that run too. Jabba with Han from the Han? special edition. So he was the yeah. forward-facing Jabba. I mean, these, yeah, well, that's, that's the annoying one. I, I have him. Jabba's like the one of mine that like got dinged up a little bit. Like he's got some scuffs on his head. Um, but it always bothered me that he was not a, a side face. Yeah. It doesn't line up. You can't, you can't, turn did, you can twist that. Did they, they won't. have one? Did they have For the power of the Jedi force too? No, I don't think so. No, the first that's time so... I think it was. Like the saga, collect- it was. I want yeah. to say after 2000, and he was in a blister pack. Yeah, but he yeah, had yeah, like yeah. his like a tongue sticking out. Sure, but you had yeah. like three different Jabba's around that time because you had that one, you had the one that spits frogs at yes. the gong to start the, yes. the pod race. Uh, yeah. You had the mm-hmm. the goo one yeah. where you could put the the slime oh. in him. Yeah, 
and it comes out. Is that Black mouth, Series? You know, like in that behind scene. Behind you? That he is. This is That's the... a good one. Oh, wow. I had no idea the depth of uh, that back. And well, I how far back it was? was like nine feet behind you. Uh, and he, uh, yeah. And the great thing about him is he got a little. That's a good one. Yeah, that's good. I like that uh, he like talks like this. Yeah. I think that's fun. Uh, 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 what are you doing? I mean, he, you can get a lot of personality out of just tilts. Like, uh, when you, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> listen, I was so happy when those huts showed up in Book of Boba Fett. I was so happy. Although I really, <laughs> I wish they were practical. I really wish they were practical. Yeah, but there was no way with as many corners as was cut for COVID and cost in that series that they were ever going to I understand be. why we'll they never see be, a practical hut again. You don't think uh, Cassian's going to touch Yaba? <laughs> yes, I, th- I think in season two, we're going to get his trip to go see Jabba on Tatooine. Because every show has got to go to Tatooine, right? Yeah, of course. I mean, there's got to be a Tatooine arc. Yeah, I think uh, I think you will get a practical Java in season two of Andor. That is gonna, my prediction. And he's going to go buy some parts from the same Jawas, like uh-huh. Tika. Tika, Tika from uh-huh. Obi Wan is going to show yes. up and uh-huh. sell him some parts. Yeah, he yeah, and then he's going to run into young Amy Sedaris. They're going to yeah. de-age Amy Sedaris. Oh, he's going to have a, a problem with his ship, and he needs to get it fixed. Uh-huh. And Kelly uh-huh. is going to fix it. Yeah, yeah. She's still no dating Wado. her Jawa no for at that time. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, no, come on. No, it, no it, comment. But it, it's it's fine. At a certain point, you just got to go and really go. Yeah, if, yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's more Star Wars, whatever. I know. I know. It's I'm not fun. complaining in any way. I uh, I. But really no Wado. Love. But no Wado. I know. How long does a Torridarian live? It's a great question. He does not have a canonical death at this point. He is still alive. And I feel like those those Toyodarians in Clone Wars are probably older than he was, right? I would think. Age span. I'm Googling this. I'm sure there's Toydarian a age. Chance. Toydarians can live. No, this is legends. So who am I? Who am I to say how true this is anymore? 91 years. Yeah, and let, let's just say that he was in his mid fifties. Sure, he's got plenty of time. Plenty of time. I uh, like he's, he's in like a like a uh, some hover chair because one of his wings is a bit atrophied. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I mean, there, <laughs> what, there's t- also tell, tell me the history of the of the Watto thing in Griffin. Like, where did that come yeah. from as a choice for the show? Because I've always been curious uh, well, as to the what show... the evolution, because that was, that's a commitment for costuming yes. to do live yes. over the course of how many years the show's gone on now. So the show originally started with Sean Diston, uh, who's a comedian and writer in LA. He's very funny. He's not comedy bang bang all the time. Um, he played Jar Jar. And that was probably for the first three years or so of the show, two to three years, something like that. And then he got a he got staffed on a sitcom in LA, so he moved. And Griffin had been doing Watto. I don't remember the timeline if Blank Check had started yet. Um, but he he had like done a Watto impression as a joke, and he and Connor did a Halloween Star Wars theme show at UCB that they were both guests on. And Connor was playing George, and Griffin for the first time was doing this Watto character. And Connor was like, "Oh, Sean's leaving." And Griffin, like, instantly, because he had been, like, coming to the show, was like, well, if you need anyone, I can play Watto. And Connor wasn't 100% sold on that just because he didn't want it to seem like uh, we were only doing the questionable characters from the prequels as right. sidekicks, you know, to go from Jar Jar to Watto. So he was like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, try it one month and we'll see how it goes. And uh, he did it. And then he just kind of kept doing it. And it's you know, he's done so many more hundreds of times. Uh, you know, the, the the amount of time that he has done Watto is so much more than Andy Seacombe ever did Watto. Uh, I think Watto's probably in like seven minutes of those movies total. Yeah. And he's done it for, you know, a hundred and, you know, 300 <laughs> hours or something like that yeah, at this there, point. There are days of Watto. Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. Weeks. Months of Watto. Yes. 
So it's, I mean, it's barely Watto at this point. You know, it's sort of its own oh, it's, thing. Yeah, it is wholly Griffin's Watto. For at sure. This point. And uh, I think we've sanded off a lot of the rough edges of Watto. It's no longer, you know, he brings up the slaves and he brings up the, the haggling and stuff, but it's not. It's not the primary focus of that character anymore, um, but he, you know, he he wanted to he wanted to reclaim him. He wanted to to bring him back and uh, try I mean, to make him again an incredible commitment. Yes, and yes. I, you know, uh, the the pandemic journey of those tights. Yes, that that outfit. disgusting. Yeah, is disgusting. <laughs> He, he has had to replace it multiple times just because it is uh it keeps getting grosser is it the same uh, nose uh i think he switched out the nose right before the pandemic because he did a one-man show as Watto on like march 6th 2020 or something like oh, that so he shut the and country it, he shut the world down with his he, show he is one of the final shows at ucb in new york like ucb closed down for good <laughs> i mean and it was like maybe that's maybe something to put on your resume the Absolutely. closing the, the show that closed down yes. ucb oh there was a it pandemic was, but the show that closed yeah, down yeah, yeah. ucb was was him singing uh two sons will come out tomorrow a uh, parody of the annie song is there um, documentation of this i have documentation of it i i don't know if it will ever see the light of day but uh i i i do have a I have a video of it. Maybe those so. two sons will shine again. Maybe he sang it at some point on the show. So the the footage is out there. I don't remember when. But it's uh, not it's not it, the the sort of documentary footage of seeing him no. on the, the now long gone yes. UCB yes. New York stage. Yes. It's uh that's that's gonna be part of a retrospective like 20 years down the line, right? When someone the, does the a oral history, history of the UCB and they're uh, just like uh, and here's the footage. The final show. Uh-huh. <laughs> Two sons will come out tomorrow. <laughs> it's just like, what was this? And it's and it's black and white, and it's just yes. it's grainy. It slowed. It slowed down. And then <laughs> you get that that shot of just him looking up to the lights. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then everything fades to black. And then a, a lone cough in the background. <laughs> <laughs> you should be uh-huh. near closed six yes. months later. <laughs> Yes. for good half of the people half of the people in this room perished <laughs> uh yeah real real fun real he fun. slayed he slayed that night yes yes so many uh, uh it, yeah. It, yeah, i was always curious about that because that was his commitment to that yeah very much matches the amazing commitment uh, that connor has to george yes absolutely absolutely it's uh it's a, uh, it's both a marathon and a sprint, if that makes sense. Anyone, and I've seen... never, I've never said that before, but I feel like that's maybe the perfect encapsulation of that show. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. You, every everything seems breakneck. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> yes. 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 It's also a show that you never sense an end mm. until mm-hmm. it just stops. Yeah. That was always the fun part was just being like, we could go 15 more seconds or we could go seven more hours. I, there's one show, I think it's the 1600 pen marathon, maybe where we were like, all right, we're almost done. Right. And then it, you see there's a second video from that night and it's six and a half hours long. And you're just like, <laughs> how did you go another six hours? You said you were going to wrap up right now. Okay, uh, no one could ever make plans. Like if you were, no. if you were going to watch it, yeah. You never knew also what moment someone would go, well, let me call so and so and see if they answer. Yeah. 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 Or let me see if so and so wants to pop in. Yeah. Uh, that was, you know, the pandemic I mean, listen, was pa- a weird time for I was just entertainment. Gonna say, I was just going to say, listen, pandemic bad. You know, <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. <laughs> but from a talent booking standpoint, Pandemic, very good. So much Pandemic availability. Was, so much availability. Very good. Yes. Yes. You could, so you could it, guarantee almost that someone was going to get back to you and go, ah, sure. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Do I need a light? Yeah. Do I, I know? Do I need to be I miss, camera ready? Does it matter? I miss. Does yeah, anything I miss matter those anymore? Days. 
And the everyone answer was, was no. so eager just to connect with each other. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we could we Miss can have fun. Days. We can do a bit. Sure. I know. You know. Uh, and now we're going back to normal where everyone's saying no to everything. So well, when are we gonna get? Can we get? Can I put it out there that for those that fell in love with the show during its uh its pandemic gift to audiences? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That it would be nice to periodically have the show exist for a global audience again, and not just as a live show. The holidays yeah. would be a swell time for for something charitable to pop up. Star Wars has long been associated with awkward holiday celebrations. Yes, absolutely. so it would seem there's no better show to mark that than the George yeah. Lucas talk show. I mean, we don't have any. I, I would be surprised if we don't do something in December. I would be surprised. Um, I'm trying to put something together before that, but we'll see if I can. I'm not the one you need to con- convince. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know who would be the one that you need to convince. I'm not even saying. I'm not even saying there's one. Maybe there's two. Oh, maybe I wasn't. I wasn't implying there was one either. It may even uh-huh. also just be you. I don't know anything maybe. in any of this. Who knows? Everyone, everyone no. just assumes, and you may be the one who's holding up, going, yes. "No, no, not me. No, uh huh, uh huh. You want me? No, I, I want that. my mobile back, and I want my Panda Baba, that eighteen-inch yes. Panda Baba that that bastard at Celebration bought from under me. Now I'm gonna, I'm just gonna be on eBay tonight, scouring it, looking for that Panda I Baba. But I'm seen, not gonna buy it. Was it a gentle giant? Did Sideshow do a Panda Baba? Let's. Here, I've never let's seen that. It and I will, I will find it right now. The best thing about it was Panda Baba famously uh, had two different kinds of hands. Um, well, yeah, because he had like the walrusy flipper yes. hands, and then he had yes. more normal it hands. Is a gen- it's a gentle giant statue. Um, here, I'll message this to you in the chat. Uh, it is a gentle giant statue. So it's a good one. Uh, it's from 2011. Um there oh god there is one on ebay oh no that is not one on ebay it's not uh it's not the bust it is a full size statue um he's like standing at the bar oh so you, so it's a display as well yeah so you're yeah pay, you're paying extra for that polystone absolutely absolutely you are uh there you go i just sent you a better picture of it um, but he's very pretty, and uh, I'm upset that I don't have him. Someday, someday I'll get him. Somebody listening to this, yeah, with a lot of money, is going to gonna make you very happy. Good. I hope you know so. if if you all want Patrick to stop holding up the return of the George Lucas mm-hmm. talk show to mm-hmm. your global digital ability to watch it, mm-hmm. give him give him what he wants. Just give me what I want. That's all I want That's is uh, a large Panda Baba simple. statue. Yeah. It's what this has all been building to. It's been the ultimate plan uh-huh. he's had ever since he planned that flood at his high school uh-huh. to set up uh-huh. his science teacher in the science class. He may have been failing. We don't know. He hasn't volunteered that information. Uh, yeah. One way or the other. I mean, he listen, said he not, wasn't too great failing. a student. So, yeah. Not failing. Definitely in the C range, but not failing. But if you want A's for all the class. Yeah. Now's the time. Step up. <laughs> Step up. So, do you have any honorary mentions? I mean, the Jar Jar is definitely an honorary mention. Um, oh, here's one that I had, and this is a re- uh, again a recent purchase because it's not one that I had, and I it's not one that existed for a long time. It is the bartender. Woo her. Um. Yeah. Woo her. Woo her. However you want to say it. Uh. We love them. Look at them. It looks really good. Uh, I like him. That was another one I saw at that convention. I was like, oh, he's mine. Uh, oh, yes, he will be mine. With, with, with his his sensor to keep out yeah. undesirables <laughs> from his bar. Yeah. And also, he's got a contact chip. So, like, I don't, the voice lines know? are great. Did you see the, the it says in the back what his voice lines are? Oh, does it? Come with it? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. I mean, uh, listen, it has four lines. Woo her. I believe only has three lines in the movie. So think, it does have I think they chopped up one of his they, lines. They, well, okay. So then 
He only had two lines in the movie because <laughs> the fourth line is droid alarm sound effect. <laughs> so that's just the alarm. And then there's, hey, we don't serve their kind here, which they chopped up. Your droids, they'll have to wait outside. They don't have, we don't want them here, which is also something that he says. But then he does say, no blasters. So. Yes, it's exactly he, how he delivered the line. <laughs> that was no a blasters, good... no blasters. <laughs> hey, get your blasters yeah. out of here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it does say he interacts with R2-D2, C-3PO, and Luke Skywalker. So does he so, say no droids here when you interact him with the droids? Or does he just question. say like worst droid slurs that they didn't want to print on there? I mean, it's a it's a great question. I do believe I have my ComTech reader. I don't think it still works. Does it still have the same batteries from 1997 I'm, in it? I'm, well, it is. <laughs> it is. Uh, uh, I would have to check because it does require a, a screwdriver. Uh, screwdriver which i do not currently have right now and is that also in la yeah no i'm I, there's one <laughs> in my closet i just haven't um but we love we love listen toys talk you know oh no it's that and that thing's got some heft to it that's yeah. not that's not an insignificant piece of plastic that's not just like just no. a couple of batteries in an empty shell yeah that's, that's, that's like holding a 1980s mobile phone yeah, it's I like, mean, it feels like, a, like a phone. It feels like a house phone. Like it feels like a, a cordless phone you'd have in your. Like, I your can't imagine for what it does, it needing that much tech in there. So is it just weights? Because it sounds terrible. Oh yeah, no, it's tinny. Yeah, it's but tinny. It is, but it is the actual sound voice lines from it. For some of them, I think for some of the Phantom Menace ones, they are not. I can't imagine that's the case. I, I don't know, but I believe I, I remember, uh, what was it? I was listening to uh, Blast Points, a very good Star Wars podcast, and they were going through them, and there were some where you're like, that is not Liam Neeson. That is 100% not Liam Neeson. Uh, Be mindful, yeah. Obi-Wan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. it, uh, I'm trying to see if if there's any info about this, but I don't think there is. About what his lines, his interactivity no, is? No, if, if any of the voices were, like, if they were were, were... were fill-ins? Were fill-ins, yeah. Uh, I like this. There's a forum, a Rebel Scum forum post uh, from rebelscum.com that says, it was a decent idea, but most of the voices sound more like my grandma than the actual characters. Oh. Wouldn't it be sweet if they did get the actors' grandmothers to do that? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, you droids aren't welcome here <laughs> if they got oh god what's his name ted ted something played woo her uh they had his grandma she's like 170 <laughs> years old in 2007 what when they made... Where's it dr- what <laughs> yeah. i just want pudding i just want wait you can take me back now no. Now, the crazy thing is this came out in 1999, so I'm, like, confused as to why I never got it. You know what I mean? Like, that was still in prime action figure time for me. Maybe that was a bridge too far as far as what you were excited about, seeing the the crotchety old bartender. I I forgot. I forgot about Grand Moff Tarkin. I forgot. Old old British character actors. (laughs) He's your sweet spot. Are my jam. That's my jam. (laughs) Why is that not the podcast that you started? Because they're all dead. They're all dead. <laughs> I can't talk to any of them. They're all dead. Well, now you need to complete your collection of all of mm-hmm. the middle-aged white guys that appeared now. in Star Wars. Where's your General Maydeen figure? I. It's a great question. Where's Does your he have Jordana? Power of the, is, is there a General Maydeen Power of the Force? I think he might have appeared in Power of the Jedi, the one that was like, what, the 2000 line? I mean, yeah, I'll get it. With his command stick? I'll get Oh, yes. I do remember the command stick. I mean, everyone Uh, in the the Imperial... I mean, why don't you have, like, the the Imperial conference room, the Death Star conference room? Oh, yes. Here he is. 
Does that even exist? It does. Now, General Medin doesn't really look like him. I'll say this. And it is on Amazon currently for $52, which is <laughs> too much. Does it have best offer? Can you offer like five? <laughs> I don't think Amazon does it. Oh, don't look at that uh, Amazon. That's an eBay purchase. You're I not going to buy Medin on Amazon. I know, I know. All right, here we go. Here you we got, go. If the one thing comes out of this is you need to have a General Medin figure coming your way. <sighs> Now there is there's a classic one for ninety nine cents. That's an old school Kenner. Old school Kenner, which I don't have any old school Kenners. I should. I've never really gone into getting those because it feels like a slippery slope money wise. There's I mean, not really there any of the new newer... number of them though. That's true, but the, if you want a good one, they're fairly expensive. Uh, although I'm finding a bunch of Maydeans. I'm I'm. I mean, you can get a Maydean for seeing... under twenty bucks. I'm not seeing any of the new Maydeans. Oh, yeah. I'm only the, seeing the, uh, there's There's one uh, OTC. Type in General Maydean OTC. That's the original trilogy collection was what he okay. appeared in. All right, here we go. He's got his cool gloves. Yeah, you're right. $9.99. He probably just pulled up on his motorcycle that he bought because yeah. he wanted to prove you're to right. the rest of the Rebel Alliance that he was still cool with it, like his swoop bike. He just rode it on that new swoop yeah. bike he bought. I just don't, it doesn't really look like him. I mean, he's just sort of a generic white guy with a gray hair and beard. Do you know the story about his action figure? About Maydean? Yeah. Which story are you? Go ahead and tell it. Uh, I'm not not they, sure off the top of my head I do. They had already started production on the figures. And they cast uh, what's it, Dermot Crowley, I think is his name, the actor. Right. And when they cast him, he had a beard. Uh, uh, so they started production on the action figure of General Maydean with a beard. Dermot Crowley showed up to film and he no longer had a beard. So the beard that he is wearing is a fake beard in the movie. So that's why it looks already... just like a pelt sort of yes. beard. Yes, yes. Yeah, because I they just, had already started. I just sent you an eBay listing for the one I was yeah. thinking about, which is the, I think, Attack of the Clones era. Yeah. Of action figure uh, releases. Yeah. Look, and look, it yeah, comes with an look... accessory. I know. I don't know what that accessory is. It says Star Wars on it. Is that a base? Like, <laughs> is that like his travel case? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Imperial shuttle capture. That looks okay. like he, he just comes with his suitcase. Like that's that's his travel truck. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have a permanent uh -huh. place of residence. But there should be a made deal. His mom Black won't let him come home what anymore. Uh huh. I'm saying there should be a Maydean Black Series. Oh, that's what I'm should. saying. I mean, they should be able to do that. I mean, he's he's generic human type. I know. Although, if you look at that one I just sent you, yeah, he looks like uh, Brolin. What's the elder Brolin? Uh, James. James. He looks like James Brolin, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Yeah. There is a Mon Mothma for 99 cents on eBay right now. I mean, this is the time to get a Mothma before they blow up. It's true. It's a good point. Lock in your Mothma and Maydean. They were, they were a duo. But then I got to get an Akbar too, you know? Why do you not have an Akbar? I don't know why I don't have an Akbar. I don't know. I, I mean, should. You're, I you're, you're a Return of the Jedi stand. You, you I know. need an Akbar. I know. But now I don't really want to buy those three three and three quarter i only want to buy get the black series because i like them better but there must be a black there's series a Akbar. fantastic akbar yeah there's got it in the black series did you ever see the the i Look. mean here i'll find the also the best part of these episodes is when my guest and i are both looking up <laughs> stuff no one knows about the live stream do you remember with the drawing stream that i did during yeah. the pandemic yeah, yeah, yeah. that lasted oh, yeah. until like 3 a.m Yes. I still have that, what, the picture of the tick with the Mexican flag behind him? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. By the we, way, it's going to be your housewarming gift. Oh, good. We, <laughs> we went on a uh, we went on a hunt for uh, yeah. oh, the, uh, the bouncy. bounce houses. The bounce houses. Did you ever get any response from them no. on those? No. No. Or did they just shut you down? I don't think I ever got anything. Um, yeah, I do like... But they don't have the new Black Series. They only have the old one, which is, I think, three three and three quarter. 
No, 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 no. I don't see. Oh, oh, here's here's one. Oh, never mind. I do see him. Oh, you know why? It's because I'm ah, there he is. Oh, look, he look, look at good. this. So he this is look good. This is how I've paired Akbar. Riding Squirrel Girl scooter, <laughs> having right. the time of his life. I mean, that's good. I mean, yeah, I I do like this Akbar. Ah, oh, shit. Even even the one from the new series, what's great is because he he looks like a thespian. So yeah. you want to pose him, yeah, like living his best theater life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's he really po- and because the mouth opens, you can give him. Oh, why yeah. am I showing you photos of a thing that's sitting right in front of me? <laughs> look at him. Look, it's just. Like... I mean, I mean, what more do you want? <laughs> look, 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 that's he, pretty good. Look, he looks so happy. That's uh, pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Oh God, I'm gonna buy this. And I'm How have so I not sold you on the Black Series Act Bar yeah, being the best thing you could him. possibly do? I'll get him. Oh well. I mean that's your new I'll end. Know that they also did an Act Bar in that 1990s Power of the Force 12 inch series. Mm-hmm. That looks oh, yes, ridiculous. I've, I have seen him. I have I've held off on uh on doing that, but I've definitely been I mean, tempted. the three and three quarter. Yeah. With They're his all good. Karaoke screen. They're all good. You know the story behind this? I don't. So this is for the vintage collection version. Yeah. So this was 2010 or 11, and he originally they were going to have him because you think of Akbar and you think of him in that command chair that mm-hmm. he's in during mm-hmm. the big battle. Mm-hmm. They canceled the command chair, all except for the screen that's on the command chair and they packed in the screen for the command chair with the figure. Does he hold the screen? How does well, that's it the only thing up? you could do? It's got, it's got like where the screen would stick into and you can see that's the stupid. wire to stick into the, the command yeah. chair, but they just packed in the screen. That's so weird. So weird. Uh, action figures are weird. Action figures are weird. But you gotta buy. You gotta have your own Akbar. Yeah. You gotta have. Yeah. You just. You're right. All right. I'll buy an Akbar tonight. I'm not happy about it, but I'll do it. You are happy I, about it. I am happy about it. I also need to get the Tarkin Black Series because I like that one too. Oh, the. Uh... He looks good. He yeah, these. He's the first Tarkin they've ever done that actually really looks like Peter Cush. He really looks good. Yeah. And he comes with uh, his spiky the droid, his spiky right? ball. Yeah, the, the yeah. torture interrogation yeah. droid. Yeah. So he's got a buddy. He's got a droid buddy to hang out with. I know. I There's know. too much stuff for you to get before you move. I know. I need to wait. I need to just put them in my car and then you're hold them You're not going to wait. You say you're going to wait. Or you just start shipping stuff to your friends out in L.A. It's true. That's and a good just say point. anything that comes from me, just hold it for yeah. me. Yeah, just hang on to it. Just hang yeah, on to I'll it. be out there. Here's the statue, yeah. by the way. Can you go buy the statue for me? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just have it waiting. By the way, I'm staying uh-huh. with you, and that's not what I ordered. <laughs> and the statues uh, thing. Yeah. So, so what else do you have coming up? But there's uh, how many more shows for George Lucas talk show do you have before the end of the year? What else are you doing? Uh, um, we do we have anything on the books right now? I don't Besides know. Besides the holiday the show, we both agreed it's going to well, be streaming before I'll the end of the year. Con- Connor and I. Uh, Connor, as George Lucas, is officiating a wedding this Friday. What? Uh, that I will be sort of emceeing. Um, I don't think anyone will be able to see it. This is a fan's wedding. We are going out to New Jersey and doing it. Um, I'm sure we will do at least one show before the end of the year, but that is that is the next. Oh, George I thought you Lucas say thing. one other wedding before the end of the year. And I think this is a no, great no, side no. gig. Yeah, no, I mean, it is a good side gig. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we are doing that. Uh, what else can people see? I mean, they can see, um, I, I do this show until December. I'm working on the show called rat scraps, uh, at caveat. It's an improv show where famous people come in and tell stories from their life. And then improvisers will do scenes based off of that story. It's really fun. It's very silly. Um, but starting in December, I'm doing a show in LA, uh, that has the same format and you'll be able to stream it and go see it if you live in LA. Um, so that'll be very fun. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. My name is Patrick Cotner, P A T R I C K C O T N O I R. Um, Which they should do. I don't know. And you're on yeah, Instagram as well. 
And I'm on Instagram at Cotner, just last name. Someone took Patrick Cotner, some middle-aged man, not happy about it. Also a science teacher at your former high school. Also, yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know. That's about it. Those are the fun stuff. But uh, I'm sure I'm sure there's other stuff I'm working on, and maybe you'll maybe you'll stumble upon it and hear my my name as a as a talent booker. But I'm I'm out there. I'm. I'm hustling. I'm working on a bunch of stuff. You're more than just a talent booker now. They've they've dragged you on screen. You've kicking and screaming. You've now had to become a personality. Yeah. yeah. There's well, too when much, is this there's co- too much when... fan art of you out there now? <laughs> when will this be live? This will be up within the week. Okay. You'll be able to hear us on the live double threat podcast, the Tom Sharpling, Julie Klausner from the Bell House. Two brilliant uh, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the three of us will be on that. We're doing it tomorrow. So unless something crazy goes wrong, uh, you will be able to hear us on that. So that'll be archived and available. I'm assuming. I believe. I believe that will be on their their podcast feed. I think. Well, tell Tom I said hello. I will. And we'll do that. We'll have to talk about his Star Wars figures. <laughs> I'm sure <laughs> he point. has so many. I'm oh, sure he has so oh, many. Yeah, I'm sure he has tons. No, we're gonna we're gonna I'm, I'm gonna sure. have him on to talk I, about his five favorite tracks from Paul McCartney's Ram. Yeah, yeah, no, he wants to talk about Admiral Mahdi. That's what oh, he wants to talk that's, about. That's the he's... only figure he wants in the Black Series. Uh-huh. He, he wants, he, he he's just already wants got his, all of the his, Yeah, he wants Ozzel, he wants Piet. He, he only he wants, wants Imperial officers who were dressed down. He Veers. only wants the oh, ones sure. that were were yeah. shamed, demoted, or it's or weird, killed. It's a weird thing. It's a weird thing. He's got. You know yeah, what? He's, you got to respect the collector. No whatever they want. No judging. To, yeah. No. If that's what yes, he wants to absolutely. focus on. Uh, just uh, sad Admiral Mahdi and his little choke face. Uh huh. Then let him. Let you him. Know. Who cares? You know, it's if funny. if it's ca- ca- poor Captain Nita who just wanted to apologize. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he did the polite yeah. thing. Yeah. And get what did he get? What did he get for being polite? Yeah, but to be fair, it was accepted. Uh, it's true. It's true. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> you coming on the show. People Thank should you follow for having everything me. you do, uh, and and keep track of it because uh, it has been good to to uh, meet you over the course of this pandemic. Yeah, and uh, appreciate the things that you do. And again, the George Lucas Talk Show has done a lot of good when it comes to the fundraising over the course of the pandemic. Thank you so much. Including all of the little years of entertainment that were provided in only a span of months. It's true. It's a great <laughs> point. <laughs> there, it isn't imp- like Dr. Who, it is impossible to catch up <laughs> on but you all of the try. George Lucas talk show. But unlike Dr. Who, it's all online. You can watch it all. You can stream it all. They're, the BBC didn't erase any of our tapes. Yeah, it's no, 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 no. Yeah, everything is extant. There's no just audio yeah. only of things that no. originally had video. There are no reconstructions no. of George Lucas talk shows <laughs> with still photos, photos that were taken yeah, and fan art. Right. Also, <laughs> you, you, your new place needs to be just plastered with the fan art that was done of you over the course of the pandemic sure i'm sure anyone coming into that apartment would not find that weird at all is there more bald fan art than there is with hair i don't know that's a, probably because i was bald for a while so that does probably. take a long time for it to grow back <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah as I you well know. know yes very aware uh, well i'd like to thank my guest ringo star for being here i'm sorry he will not be accepting any of your autograph requests not after does, october the 12th he does wish you as always peace and love and that is always appreciated i'm going to mention real quick before i forget that you can support me on patreon by going to patreon.com slash ken plume i have a new book coming out as well that i should talk about uh which is the art of ducktales which is coming out from dark horse books look it's big and fancy uh it's a nice starring hardcover friends book. of starring friends of the george lucas talk show bobby yeah. moynihan kate mccucci ben schwartz so Fun. many folks that have come paul f tompkins yeah. Paul also, Tompkins, yeah. Uh, in fact, maybe that's it. Is that the crossover that we're looking at? Is how many folks? I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no David Tennant yet. You Not working yet. on him still? And never, never. He'll, that's a promise I'll make to you folks. He'll, he'll come on the show. He just needs <laughs> to be asked. Uh, that's the standard edition, but I'm encouraging anyone who can to get the deluxe edition, which comes in this absolutely beautiful 
slipcase, which I've already taken the contents out to show you, is you're not missing out. It's the exact same book you can get in the standard edition, but gilded. But I did over 100 hours of interviews with all of those folks and more that Patrick was just talking about. And that those interviews with additional art are all in this only in the Ooh. deluxe edition. I like that. So get that. And it also comes with re a reproduction of Scrooge's number one dime. There's so much in it that find out more information at bit.ly slash ducktales book. And if you want a, an art print slash book plate that I made up for conventions, I'm not going to, uh, you can get that. That celebrates the 75th anniversary of Scrooge, 35th of the original DuckTales, and 5th of the current DuckTales that the book's about uh, by going to bit.ly slash duckart. Please pick these up before they're gone, because once they're gone, I'm not making any more. That's only for, again, the conventions I'm not going to. <laughs> Please do all those things. And as always, I don't know how to end the show, so I'm going to throw it to the Rancor. Say goodbye, Rancor. My rancor. Oh, what a gracie moment. Bye, everybody. Bye.